hello YouTube land. Here's Master Chef back again on Mrs. J Vibe. And hey, hope everyone having a wonderful day. Hope everyone is doing fine. Look, we're finna get into something. I thought I'd make something sweet since the festive times is a herring up on us. Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Hey, I said I better share this recipe with YouTube before those days get here. And what we're gonna be making today, we're gonna to be making a homemade peach cobbler. And we're going to be using these great value pie crusts. I have four of them. And as you can see, I got my helper in the back. Let's call him Don Juan for right now, okay? I'm going to introduce you to my ingredients. And as you can see, I have four cups of sliced peaches, which consist of two large cans of peaches. I use the juice or the heavy uh, nectar from one and the other one, I did not. And there's a reason for that. I have a cup of white granulated sugar. I have a cup of brown sugar. I have one stick of butter, teaspoon and a half of vanilla flavoring, and of course, a tablespoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of starch for thickening. And I have here, as you can see, a teaspoon of nutmeg and a fourth of a teaspoon of cloves. I don't have an allspice because allspice consists of cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, black pepper or red pepper and cloves. So we cut through the rest of the stuff. And I have one can, yeah, you heard it right, from Master Chef of condensed sweetener milk okay and we got a little flour here we're gonna get this set out of the way but what we want to do we want to get these peaches on the stove and we're gonna get these ingredients in there and what we're going to do after we get the peaches down and get our uh, different condiments in them and we're gonna let them boil until they get tender so we're probably talking about maybe 30 minutes, okay? Then we're gonna add our cornstarch in for thickener. We're going to put in our condensed milk. If you hadn't had peach cobbler with this in it, you've been doing it wrong and you've been missing something, okay? And we're going to take our pie crust and when we line our pirates dish here, I'm going to stick them in 350 degrees oven for about 10 minutes. I want it to bubble up because when you put all of this juice and all of these different components in there, it's going to have your crust soggy. I want the crust flaky and I want it done. Okay, here we go. Go along with me. We're going to the pot with the peaches and we're going to put in the sugars and we're going to get this thing rolling. I'll be back. Yes, Okay, I'm going in with my white sugar. You definitely want that to cook down. You don't want, you don't want gritty. Going in with my brown sugar. Okay, let's get this stirred up. And you know, you can use flour if you want to, if you don't want to use uh, starch. Sometimes I found starch to be kind of uh, I don't know. You can taste it. I don't like it. Taste being able to taste the starch. I usually use flour, which you can use either. I'm gonna go ahead and get my butter in. Just get that stirred up in there. And you want those peaches to become. Tender. I'm gonna go ahead and dump my cinnamon in, nutmeg. My nutmeg have the cloves in it. 
quarter of a tablespoon. I'm gonna wait before I put my vanilla in there. I'm gonna get this all stirred up and acclimated. Yeah, we wanna let that sugar cook down and dissolve. I'm going in with my vanilla flavoring. Teaspoon and a half. I'm going in with my condensed sweetener milk. It's not going to mess up the consistency. It's going to add to it, the thickening of it. It's not going to have it white or anything. It's just going to make a real good, smooth, thick pudding type of gravy. Look at that. Look, you have to trust Master Chef. I know what you're saying. I've never done it with that. I'm bringing you a new way of doing things, but with the same wonderful, delicious outcome. Hey, gonna make it do what it do, baby. Then it's done done what it did. Huh? Okay. I can't hear nobody. We're gonna wait before we put our starch in. I wanna put our starch in last, bring it to the desired thickness of the juice or the pudding. If we want this thing to be right, if this is Thanksgiving or Christmas or New Year's riding on this recipe, it's got to be off the hook. All right, as you can see, these peaches are swole up. I think I'm about ready to put my starch in. Thicken this up a little bit. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm going to take a little milk, fourth of a cup, and I'm going to mix my cornstarch in to keep it from pumping up. I'm going to take my whisk, spoon, fork, get that all acclimated. And as you can see, and I'm going to stir this in here for my thickening. And just pour it in there. Ain't no wrong way or right way to pour it in there. Just get it in there. Y'all know me. I'll uh, pay for all of it. Get it all in there. Just get that in there. We now we got all our components in there. We want to let that thicken up. And once that thicken up, as you can see, those peaches have swole, meaning that they have gotten tender. We're going to get this bad boy in some crust. Anytime you're adding flour or starch for a thickening, you want to put it in something cold to keep it from clumping up. And this should thick up the way we want it to. It's already starting to do it. Just like making gravy. Now, I'm going to put me a drop or two of lemon flavoring in there. Just a little bit. Okay, now see that something got thick. All right. All right, I put me a little flour, as you can see, on my board. I'm getting ready to uh, put my dough down to get ready to put it in my Pyrex. Turn it over. And just stretch it out. Let it stretch out some. If it's cold, get that stretched out some. And I did grease my Pyrex bowl. So we're gonna take this, as you can see, and we're gonna bring it up the sides. like that, and we're gonna take the other one, and I'm gonna put these in a 350 degree oven, because as I said earlier, I like for my dough to be done on the bottom, 
it comes with the, with the liquids. The peach is going in. Sometimes it can have a way of coming out gummy. And I don't like mine gummy. This is what will happen if you let your dough get too warm, too warm. Just want to stretch it a little bit. Get that pool out. We're going to do the same thing, just overlap it. Overlap it, pull it up. If your tear or break a little bit, it's okay. It's okay. So you can just pull that up there. And we ain't gonna cook this all the way. We're just gonna let it puff up to where it will cook some more, of course. And I did butter my Pyrex pan. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the oven. I'm gonna watch it for probably about 10 minutes. All right, here's Master Chef back. We're getting ready to put the dough on the top. And as you can see, I tell you I wanted to put my crust in a 350 degrees oven for 10 minutes. It's not all the way done, but it won't be gummy at the bottom. It'll be crispy as well, okay? That's my peaches. Oh, I have a young lady today that was inspired to put this cooking show together. She's going to be assisting me with the top of the dough. And of course, she's none other than Mrs. J. I'm gonna get this. And we're just gonna flip it. And we're gonna cut these and we're going to get our peaches down. Spread it out a little bit. She said, spread it out a little bit. And we're going to egg wash or either butter, wash the top of these before we go in the oven. And you can just cut that end off if you want to. You want to cut these probably about a half an inch thick. Try to keep them as straight as possible. Don't try to do what I do. Don't try this at home. This is Master Chef. <laughs> okay. Just joking with you. I'm using a pizza cutter. You can use what you want. You can use a knife if you want to. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to get some peaches down in here. We want all of these peaches in here. And just kind of distribute them kind of evenly. Four cups of peaches. Boy, look at that sauce. I might be able to find enough vanilla ice cream around here to uh, plate this up with. Okay. Boy, that looks good, doesn't it? I'm gonna take a cup and let's get this gravy in there. You get this gravy with some of this good crust here oh boy okay and we're gonna let mrs. J put the top on there okay I'm gonna put this in a 350 degrees oven and I'm gonna let it set wait a minute we're gonna wash the top of it with some butter or either egg wash we're gonna let it go 
until it's brown on the top. We know everything on the inside is done. And we're gonna take it out of the oven and we're gonna plate up some of it. And we're going to share with you the outcome and the taste. Hey, if you hadn't subscribed, please do so. Hit that subscribe button, send us a comment, tell a family friend, a coworker, tell someone about Mrs. J Vibe. We're doing real down home recipes over here that's easy peasy. Now we're going into the oven with this. Wait just a minute. Gonna hit it with just a little bit more of this. Cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. There we go. Now we're going in the oven and I'll see you in a few. You know you too. Here's Master Chef back. And as you can see, we have the finished product out of the oven. And we're going to plate up some of this and see how how it came out, okay? Look at that crust. Get that in there. Ooh wee. All right, there you have it. Now let's see what this tastes like. All right. See that crust on the bottom, I was saying, cook it 10 minutes before you put your peaches and gravy in there. I must say, this is very wonderful. If you like this recipe, give us a thumbs up. Let us hear from you. Let us hear how your homemade peach cobbler turned out. Hey, look. I already have a peach cobbler on Mrs. J Vibe cooking page. This is a more traditional one. The other one is wonderful as well. And it was made with peach nectar and knee high. Some of you older heads know what knee high soda is. Peach knee high soda and peach nectar. I pulled all of the peaches off the juice and done my own thing. This is my recipe as well, using a can of sweetened condensed milk. Either one of them would be a great choice for your satisfaction and your dessert. On Thanksgiving, oh yeah, this is good enough to go on a Thanksgiving platform, a Christmas dinner, New Year's dinner. Hey. Look, we appreciate you. Mrs. J appreciate you. Let us hear from you. And we'll see you in our next cooking video. Bye for now.